All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're kicking off a new series. We're going to play a little bit of Sonic Adventure DX. I'm actually really hyped to play this, and I'd be playing if my controller decided it wanted to work. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, I don't know what the hell happened, but now we're here performing for you. Here we go. We're going to play a little bit of Sonic Adventure. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to make a new file. We're going to play through the entire storyline. Um, I might eventually play more. There's there's mini games and there's missions to do uh, after you beat certain parts of the story. I might do those in stream. That could be something we do in stream. That could be our stream tie-in for this series. Uh, for now, though, let's go ahead and uh, play the game. Oh, here we are. This is the trial and missions. Well, I haven't opened yet. It'll be all right. Let's play the game. Select a character. All right, so there's several characters you can play through in this game. There's six different characters, and then they all have their own storyline, but it's all happening in the same story. So for right now, we're just going to start up with Sonic. Let's get him! And they all have their own play style as well. Sonic is the typical Sonic video game. You want to race to the finish. Alright, so the game opens up with a boss battle. You're fighting Chaos Zero. 
All right, let's pick up some rings, just so you know. The inevitable doesn't happen. Uh, Sonic ha can jump, run, and he can use a homing attack. Well, he'll home in against certain enemies or targets. In this case, Chaos Zero. That's his health in the top right of the screen. And now he's using his attack where he jumps up above to where we can't hit him. Until he comes back down, just like that. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. <laughs> all right, not bad. Not bad at all. We got six rings. So what's happening here? Come on, you big drip. Where you going? You know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Tails? Ah, what am I gonna do with you? Alright, so for those of you not in the know, that was Tails, Miles Tails Prower. Um, him and Sonic have a relationship that's very similar to brothers. If you want to be specific, uh, older brother, younger brother, with Sonic being the older brother. Um, this game takes place after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So that whole storyline has happened already. Uh, they've run into Knuckles. They, all three of them have worked together to stop Robotnik from messing up the world. You know, because that's what he does. Uh, this game was originally on what? Dreamcast? This is on the Dreamcast. I had the, the, the Nintendo GameCube version. I had the GameCube version. And now I have it on computer so I can play it whenever I want. It looks it looks pretty clean. To be honest, this is one of the very few 3D games that, in my opinion, have held up graphically. Kinda. Like, Sonic looks sleek. He just looks like he's laminated, you know? <laughs> he just looks laminated. Don't know why they went with that. But that's what he looks. All right, here we go. Here we go. On the loops. On the loops. Everybody always remembers this as like the first 3D Sonic game. I don't. I remember Sonic Adventure 2 as the uh, the first 3D game because I had that came out before this one on GameCube. Remember, they were both ports, and that's actually it's probably my favorite 3D Sonic game. I played that game all the way to the end, although I haven't completely beaten. I played on the channel before. I once said I was gonna come back and and do all the all the. What is it? The extra mi Oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. I'm not even supposed to be going that way. Doing all the extra levels and stuff. Each level has five levels, and in the story, you only have to do the first one of each level. So one of these days, I'll get back to it. It's on my long list of things to get back to. <laughs> all right, so Sonic's goal right now is to race to where Tails was flying his plane, and hopefully he can get there in time to help him out. As I said at the top of this episode, uh, this game has six characters that you play as, and they each have their own storyline, but they're all telling the same story. That's actually my favorite, like, uh, what is it, literary device? It's a, it's a storytelling method called Rashomon, Rashomon Storytelling or something like that. Rash it's Rashomon. That's, that's what it's called. It's based on the idea that the narrator... Or the the storyteller. Jump on panel oh, hang on. One. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel, or else you'll fall. Thanks, thanks, voice. 
Um, it's based on the idea that the narrator. I'm gonna take a shortcut here. <laughs> I don't want to get caught, so I'm gonna take a shortcut. It's based on the idea that the narrator is unreliable, and they will often tell stories with emotion. And you can actually see that in a lot of the parts where stories intertwine. I'll, I'll, I'll bring your attention to it as it happens. So that's level one. Done with no problem. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Hey, Sonic. Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep. I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! All right, so now we can play with Tails. Now we've unlocked Tails as a playable character. So if we want to, we can stop playing a Sonic for now and go play Tails' story. We're not going to do that. I want to play through everybody's story completely as best as I can. I say that now as best as I can. Uh, Tails wants us to go to the Mystic Ruins where his workshop is. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. One of the things that I do while I play is I sing a lot of the songs in the background because this, this game has a lot of good music, but I probably need to pay heavy attention to where the cutscenes tell me I need to go. Otherwise, otherwise, there's no way for me to find out other than looking stuff up. And, of course, you guys know how much I hate looking up answers. The Mystic Ruins. Let's see. Tales of Workshop is here. It's up here. So let's go ahead over here. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Silence. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got big plans. And now I'm going to put them to work. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere. Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! All right, so now we got to take out the Egg Hornet. And as I mentioned, uh, there's a lot of differences in storylines. For example, this is a scene between both Sonic, Tails, and Dr. Robotnik. Uh, in that instance, we're going to play through Sonic. We're going to play through Sonic beating the boss the easy way. And we're going to fight through Tails beating the boss. Um, and in both of the cutscenes before the boss fight, there's differences. I'll, I'll show them at the same time in a very future video so that you can see what I'm talking about. Tails is a little bit more scared of Robotnik than Sonic is, so Sonic remembers the story or how it happened a little bit differently than Tails does. Tails. 